What's up, guys? It's your boy DJ coming at you. How you doing? And I am making scooters great again. That's right. Nobody knows more about scooters than DJ Jackson. But anyway, Razor Eco Smart, the new edition with the hub motor. Okay. Here's the cover for the hub motor on the rear. Sorry I didn't get this from the very beginning. I wasn't thinking about it. But anyway, that's what the rear motor looks like. Okay. On the Razor Eco Smart Sub. That's what it's actually called, the Razor EcoSmart Sub Scooter. Why do they call it the Sub Scooter? Is because on this one, you don't have, it has a traditional EcoSmart deck, okay, but it doesn't have the seat set up, so it's just the stand-up edition, okay? So what I did was I got it as a project because it has great potential to be one of the best scooters out there, in my opinion. Why? 16-inch wheels. Look at the front wheel, guys. That's safety, okay? That's safety. The traditional scooters are like this. That's a Razor E300, okay? One of the, my modified scooters. But anyway, this is the Razor EcoSmart. Look at the size of the front wheel, okay? 16 inch, inches. But anyway, this is the rear hub motor. What's nice about it is they've decided to update it and, and get rid of the uh, DC breast motor and go with the uh, hub motor. So... But excuse me, I got a little surprise for you guys that are into this kind of thing. Um, so I got plans for changing this 36 volt hub system in this Razor Eco Smart uh, scooter to a uh, 48 volt. But anyway, th here are the internals of the Razor Eco Smart sub scooter. This is the rear hub motor. Check it out. I took the cover off of it, guys. I had to see what was going on on the inside. I wanted to see if that was just a bunch of hollow casing. Like, here's the cover for the for it right here. The cover goes on, blah, blah, blah. I wanted to see if that thing was just a bunch of hollow casing, or was it actually a full-on hub motor? Guys, this is a full-on hub motor. Oh, my gosh. Guys, look at this. Look at the coils. Look at the coils. Let me see if I can turn the light on. Hang on a second. Yeah, there you go. Look at the coils, guys. This is crazy. Razor really did it with the scooter. That's a full, full on, uh, full on, uh, direct drive motor wiring and everything. Look at the coils in this thing. It's a 36 volt setup. I'm, b I'm bumping it up to 40, uh, 48 volts. That's what I'm trying to do anyway. So you can see everything here. Uh, the motor looks intact quite well. And uh yeah, I'm I'm very impressed so far. Pretty impressive. But anyway, I wanted to take it apart and see what it looks like before I go to doing what I'm going to try to do with this motor. So I'm gonna I'm gonna seal it back up now again. This is the Razor EcoSmart Sub Scooter. And uh, I am dismantling it. <laughs> or I have dismantled it. It's that's the rear hub motor. It's got some weight to it too, guys. So what they did was they put it inside a mag rim. And uh, and I wish they would have thought this out better, though, because they could have got a geared motor. It would been so much lighter, so much lighter. But anyway, with this motor here, it's terrible, actually, stock, because they give you three lead-acid batteries, which I can't show you because my the scooter's sitting on top of them. Let me see. That's them. If you can see them down there, that's the little lead-acid batteries that come in the scooter. You get three of those. Like eight amp hours each. Really sorry, sorry, sorry. Because we all know that a hub motor with the right battery power can be something great. So I happen to have a 20 amp hour battery that will fit in this housing right here. Perfect. It's a perfect fit for it. I'm going to try to modify it and make it work over the weekend. Okay. So I have a cycle analyst I'll be putting on it. Um, cycle analyst. And I got another new controller, a 48 volt controller. So if I can do everything right and uh, wire everything up right, this can be a great scooter. So stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. This is a very much a project. And my goal is actually to, um, with this Razor Equal Smart Sub Scooter, sorry it's all dismantled, but you can look it up on the internet. It's really a nice, it's a very nice scooter because of the 16-inch wheels. That's the main thing in the steel frame. Uh, but you're a lot safer. You don't even need suspension. Uh when you have a 16-inch wheel scooter, although it would be nice, 
but the wheels really absorb a lot of the uh, impact. So um, I'm very impressed with this scooter, except for in a stock form, it's not any, it's not good as far as power and range. It's terrible. You probably get 10 miles off of it, if that has no hill climbing power whatsoever, <laughs> whatsoever off of the uh, the included uh, 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 sealed lead acid batteries. Quite terrible, guys. Other than that, it's a great scooter, you know, if I can uh, successfully do this mod. So, oh, sorry, the video isn't all polished off. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but it's late. I'm supposed to be in bed. I got to be at work at 10 o'clock in the morning and do another 12-hour day. Um, But this project here, the reason I got it is because I want to, uh, if I can, if, if what I have planned for this thing works, I can go into business modifying this scooter specifically and making it into something quite great as opposed to something quite lame. Because right now, as it stands, this scooter is lame due to the power, uh, the power source they put in, you know, uh, 36 volt system is not going to get it. Look at the size of this hub motor, guys. That's in a 16 inch wheel, guys. So therefore, what does that mean? Uh, it's a lot of weight. If you if you know anything about direct drive motors, there's no moving parts in the motor. It's just a big coil. Coil and magnets and stuff, as you can see. Yep. Oop, there it is. It was really neat to see it. So what you're seeing here are all the insides of it. You are seeing the insides of it. So there you go. Pretty interesting, I'd say. 25, I don't know what that means. 2020, that's cool. So this is pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Hmm. Quite interesting. A big coil. This is a Razor sub scooter. What you're seeing is the the direct drive motor that Razor decided to put with their scooter. There's a casing. So all that casing is not just casing, guys. They really filled it up. It's actually a full motor, you know. And this thing rides really smooth. It just doesn't have any power. That's my main problem. Okay. HY159, I don't know what that means. Uh, but, yeah, there you go. All right, I'm going to put it back together. All right, guys, later.